Hi there! <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about something that, um, once again, I feel passionate about because I can, um, I can talk from my own experience. So, <laughs> I guess I come to be your cheerleader, which is why this video is like so colorful. I try to, um, make like a cute setup and stuff. Look, it's a llama. It's a, it's a cute, freaking cute llama, um, thingy. Um, Look at this, you don't have it. I'm sure that you don't have it, but I do, so. Uh, look at my, um, look at that over there. It's such a cool purse. No, purse is like the one that you carry in here. Well, whatever, you got it. <laughs> and uh, look at that, look at that cute kitty. Isn't this like super cute? Cause I believe, so I come here to talk to you, well actually try to convince you or cheer you on that being alone doesn't mean that you are a loser cause you're not, you're not, no, 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 you're not you're not and I'm gonna give you the reasons why, okay? okay, are you ready? are you ready? cause I come here with a lot of energy <laughs> uh, in defense of loners, like sometimes it's not even like our fault. It's not that we're anti-social or anything. Like, look at me, for example. Do you think I don't go to people and I'm like, Hey, <laughs> I am called Adara. What's your name? How are you? What did you eat today? No, seriously, I do ask that kind of stuff, guys. Food is my um, my area. Um, so that's where I, <laughs> I, um, I am able to uh, excel at that type of conversations about food. Um, and still, people don't want to talk to me. So sometimes it's not the person's fault. It's like you see someone in the corner. Dude, corners are amazing. You get a whole perspective. It's like, why do you get away from someone that is in a corner just because they're in a corner? It doesn't mean that they don't have friends. Sometimes you're just more comfortable over there. Sometimes you want to stand out. Um, <laughs> you just want to like, um, be over there, you know, like you don't want to be over here where all the noise is. Like you want to pay attention to whatever is being presented or projected in, <laughs> in the front, and you just don't want to be distracted. It's uh, habits of um, an intellectual person. Um, it doesn't mean that you are dumb. It doesn't mean that you're less interesting. Actually, you become way more interesting when you put yourself in the corner for some reason. <laughs> and sometimes it's not even like our fault. To in the sense that, for example, we have perhaps, I don't know, a tattoo, or uh, you look intimidating because you have a, <laughs> a psychiatrix, or um, four belly buttons, but like, <laughs> whatever it is, like piercings, or uh, tattoos, or accents, when you have an accent, it's like, so many beautiful things, and people just, they just hate on them, they judge on them, and they fear, and they go away, and it's like, no, it's a conversation starter for the both of us, it's so easy, you just have to ask me, like, I, personally, I wouldn't get offended, like, hey, of course, I love talking about myself, yes, I'm gonna tell you why I got that tattoo, why I have that psychiatrix, like, no, I'm not Scarface, but, um, <laughs> do you want to be my why on a rider? <laughs> um, but, like, um, seriously, it's, like, so many things that, loners have positive things it's not a bad thing like being called a loner it's, it shouldn't be like being the equal thing of a loser or or you know a bad thing or have negative connotations to it it's like why 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 is it on us you know like maybe you you isolated us and we didn't isolate and sometimes you know it's from the other side oh my god my shadow that's cool that's cool. No, it doesn't show. Wait, does it show now? No, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show the middle finger, but it doesn't appear over there. Okay, whatever. But like the thing is that we have way more unique freaking memories and like maybe you're the teacher's pet, maybe you talk to grandmas, maybe you'll know um, your job is particularly unique and you have interactions with people that, you know, people your age probably don't have. For example, in my opinion, uh, in my experience, <laughs> when I was in the bus, no one wanted to talk to me. You know who talked to me? Well, I was like, uh, did I tell you that I'm tiny? Yeah, I'm quite tiny. If you tell me that I'm tiny, I'm gonna punch you. I'm the only one that can call, that can call myself tiny. So uh, <laughs> I was in the bus and because I was tiny, like, um, well, tiny people, uh, the grades that were like super low, they would go on the front. And I always had to go with them because my bus was short and packed. So <laughs> because of size and stuff, um, they had to place us that way. And the little kids, they always talked to me. It was amazing. When they saw me in the mall, they actually waved at me and they smiled and they yelled my name. It was so cute. Do you think people 
people my age know people my age you know what they did i will be like hey and they will pretend number one that they don't know me they will look at me with that face like with the frown like come on you see me every day at school <laughs> don't pretend now it's like that's shitty and those are the people that i had to be with like those were the people that were assigned like those were the people at desk away okay well while, while there were other people that were looking up to me <laughs> even though i was tiny <laughs> you know like little kids they were so nice to me and that's all i had available does that make me a loser no because you know i think that like the true definition of a loser is like the greatest loss you know, sometimes there's people who are surrounded by so many other people and they still feel super, super lonely. I think that's the loss. Like, number one, having people that don't make you feel uh, that you got them, that they got you, that they got your back. Like, they're, ah, ow, 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 ah, ah. Okay, well, yeah, sort of like that. Uh, ah. Okay, anyway, but like, it's like, that. that's the kind of people, that, that's sad, that's sad. And, Second of all, yeah, yeah. it's when you are not able to recognize what you have, all you have. And, and when you just want more, when you're craving for more, when you already have enough and you still feel, don't feel like that you have company or that you have love or that you're surrounded by, I don't know, people that love you and are your friends and stuff. I think that's the greatest loss. I think that if you're truly content with what you've been doing all along, <laughs> For example, I, I played with little pet shops and I, uh, I've already mentioned this before. I played um, video games and uh, what else? Mm. What else did I do? I love decorating. I love taking care of plushies. Does that make me a loser? Like, is it because, oh, that's because you can't make friends in real life? No, I can. I can't. They just, they, they're the ones that are losing out. Not me. That's the kind of mentality that you need to have. Like, they're losing out on you. You're not losing out on them. Like, mm. What? Like you're here. Um, or perhaps it is a struggle for you to make friends. I mean, it's a struggle for everyone, even for people who uh, effortlessly um, they try to make friends and they still fail. Like rejection is a thing, you know. <laughs> I would know about it, and uh, that's okay. I, you know, I think that it's not being a loner isn't uh, you know that you scare people away. Like no, 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 no. Like if someone is really interested in you and they want to be friends and they genuinely want to make friends and you're the only option available. If they don't want to be your friend, then that's on them, that's not on you. <laughs> Cause like, trust me, like you can have prejudice, you can have assumptions, you can have so many things in your head, but whether you want to clear them out or not, that's on the other person, that's not on you. <laughs> like, you don't always have to make the first step because every time you make the first step, you just, you just get stumped over with their feet. And it's like, what? I was just trying to make friends. <laughs> I was just trying to be friendly. And it's like, oh yeah, if you want to make friends, you just have to be friendly. It's in the word, right? Well, no, it's not that easy. Okay, it's not that easy. I can tell you that from my own experience. <laughs> and like, maybe I'm just annoying. But even that, that's on them. Because <laughs> that's annoying on their standards, not my standards. So, <laughs> like, it's not that you're alone. You just don't, want, you just haven't found your tribe yet. You haven't found your, uh... I don't know how to call it. Oh, I didn't I didn't show you this one. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Yeah. And um it's like you share food. Look at this. It looks irresistible, right? And they still reject it. It's like what It's like um it's like what what do you want then? What do you want? Like you're making it hard for me right now, okay? No, you're making it <laughs> making friends hard you're making the process hard and it's like it's not always on loners to do absolutely everything okay and like if you don't get invited to stuff so what you do you know all the alternative ideas that you had to come up with in order to have fun because you didn't have friends like i think that is number one admirable number two super interesting it's not like awkward or weird no it's like it's it's new it's something different as i said like the memories that you have the ones that i have i would talk to guards i would talk to teachers i would talk to um um, um, what else? Uh, little kids. Like, those are not the kind of experiences that people my age used to have back then in those moments. And that's okay, because I still got the same thing out of it. I got the fun. I got the love. I got the friendship. I got communication, interaction, just in a different way. So, and sometimes, if you don't have any interaction at all, if you have interaction with animals or indirect interaction, like maybe the noise of people makes you feel comfortable, I don't know, you like observing from the distance, you have a, a broader perspective, or maybe that's just an 
anime. <laughs> but honestly, like you just have a different type of knowledge. You just have a different type of processing things because you're not surrounded by people that constantly distract you. Or you don't have a squad. You, you're more independent. Like, the thing is that because you don't have the same, uh, like, um, process as other people, you just have new skills. You have different things. And like, all of that is a whole new package. Like, if people don't want to <laughs> open your your gift box, like your envelope, uh, like uh, tie, untie that ribbon, that's on them. Because like, honestly, oh my god, that's so, I don't know. It's like, I, every time I see a person that is alone, instant thing, it's like a hook. It doesn't drag me away, it doesn't push me away. It makes me like, whoa, how are you, my friend? Do you want to talk? Because like, and it's not that I pity them, no. It's just that... I know that you're alone and it's not because of you like because if they're able to be friends with me like I've figured that most of my friends they don't have much friends but they they they're not like on friend that they don't have like it's not like they're not capable of making friends or being friends with other people it's just that other people don't want to be friends with them it's like hmm why do you have <laughs> and uh, say it in the best way possible because it's like uh, okay so you didn't have like a squad growing up you didn't have neighbor friends I didn't either uh, because of the neighborhood that I live in as I said sometimes the factors like the the circumstances they don't let you and okay what if um y you live super far away like social friction is a thing <laughs> um, uh, y y there were things that were not on you like it's not always on the person okay like not every person that is alone also, not every person that is alone wants company. Sometimes they want to be alone. Heck, you know what I do every time I arrive to school? I put on my headphones and um, <laughs> they used to tease me. They call me Marshmallow, you know, DJ, because my headphones had lights on them. And you know what? I don't care. I think that's a good thing from being far away from that. Sometimes when you're alone, you put a barrier from bad things to happen to you or, you know, have some self-consciousness or feel bad about yourself, having to make an impression with other group, like having to fit in, having to be like a freaking penny or bendable. Like, no, the fact that you were alone means that you give no shits <laughs> about um, what other people think about you. And that is good and bad, but it's mostly good in this sense, because then whoever actually wants to be with you, they love you for you. For you, not for the friends you're with, not for the status, not for the parties that you've gone to, not for your ranking, not for your beauty, for your looks. Like, it's all about you. Like, they actually took the extra effort or went the extra mile to try to be with you when no one else was with you in the first place. So the fact that you have at least one friend, two friends, three friends, you know, if they're count, if you can count them with your fingers, that's great. Cause <laughs> you can't like what is what has the value is not the amount, but like the qu the quality, the quality. I mean, it sounds like so ridiculously. Um, how do you say it? like so obvious? But it, <laughs> like people who are alone sometimes feel sad about being alone. Like I felt sad about being alone, but um. Even when I know that I'm comfortable being alone. As I said, I arrive to school. What's the first thing that I do? I see everyone in their little groups. And I put on my headphones. And I go around, 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 around the school. Because my school is round. <laughs> so I just walk and walk and walk. And I'm all bothered. I'm just feeling it. I'm just vibing. I'm just with music. Like, imagine having to have an interaction with someone. Or a small talk. Or being in a group in which not everybody likes you. Because that could be the case. Like, that's what happens. People people in, my, in those circumstances, sometimes they're just too busy trying to belong and then they disrespect you to not lose those other companions so i'm not down for that <laughs> that's why if i have a friend it's gonna be one-to-one -one. like i don't need to be in a group chat i don't not, i don't need to be in a in a huge thing or go to huge events like no 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 like i want real quality time with you i don't want to just go somewhere in which everyone's going to be distracted everyone's going to be talking like it's just a bunch of, a bunch of noise and it's comfortable noise is comfortable it's better than silence sometimes yes but it doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong or how you've been living your life or the amount of people that or the type of activities that you've engaged with like they're not fun enough no and sometimes they're deeper like the connections are even stronger you know like all of these people that you see around you they're probably lunchbox friends you know even in college and everything like i'm not just talking about school like i know it doesn't seem it trust me i graduated i'm an adult <laughs> I am. So if I'm telling you this, um, oh my god.
Well, I mean, everybody loves cats. And that's the thing, you don't have to do any of this, you know? Like, you don't have to prove something or um, hide your true likes. Because I've seen that people struggle more when they're with other people because they're not the right people. And in school, it's a very small place. It's a very tight, like, you know, workplace. Like, everywhere else, like, it's just friends because you have to make them. Because you were uh, assigned that seat. Like, you don't know how many, like... I feel closer to people that are way in another country, in another continent, than the assholes that are one desk away from me. So, sometimes you just can't make friends yet, but your time will come. You'll have friends, okay? You'll have friends, and, and right now, you just keep doing your thing, you have fun with yourself, because the fact that you already, like, you figured out, you figured out to be comfortable with yourself. And if you haven't, then trust me, you don't need to have any insecurities about being alone, like, Try to enjoy being alone. Being alone is fun. Being alone, you don't have to give explanations to everybody. They don't have to be in your business. You don't have to be in their business. You don't have to be in the drama. You don't have to, be, well, maybe that's just a bunch of toxic relationships. But that's mostly how it is in school, especially in college too. Cause like people are still trying to figure themselves out. And in that process, they can hurt you. That's what has happened to me. Most of my friends, they're, none of them are here. I mean, they're here, like I talked to them, yeah. But like, they're not actually, there's nothing beyond that you know because they were not the right fit for me <laughs> like this misconception that like oh yeah we were kids and we were no there are very garbage kids otherwise bullying in elementary school wouldn't exist okay so like um but when we're growing up i think uh it's it's just it's just way more it's like i don't know what it is hormones whatever like teenager uh, the, uh, even as an adult like I think that as an adult it's worse because whatever it is that you did up to until that moment that's what you're gonna stick like i think it's a fa i don't know if it's scientifically proven like until 25 or something like it's very hard for you to change your ways like you just you just uh it's not that you know who you are but unconsciously whatever you're doing is what you will do or like the tendency that you will pick uh along the years so it's like you're not there to deal with that. I mean, socializing, I socialize. There's many ways of socializing that doesn't involve, you know, the mainstream types of ways or, you know, online friends. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Or uh, what else? Mm, like being friends with adults or, you know, the age gap. Like who says that like company is company, love is love. Like why would you only be friends with people that are right there? Like you're limiting yourself, you know, you're limiting yourself in both perspectives and knowledge and so many things. And there's just so much happiness that you can grab from hanging around with a kid, you know, the way that they experience the world, the way that they get excited for little things. Like I don't want to be with someone who's at their phone all the time. No, I'm not trying to be that person, but it's like, I was hanging around with a friend and trust me, I had much more fun with her little sister and with her. She was just, you know, she was just, it, it was awful. It was so awkward. She didn't want to go to the park. She didn't want to, she didn't want to talk to me. She wasn't engaging with me. She was just, not everyone, not every teenager, I understand. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you can have bad experiences with other people. I mean, yeah, they're necessary, you know, to get along with, with, and, 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 and like, you know, variety and whatnot, and learn to deal with that kind of people, yeah, sure, sure, but I'm just saying that you can get a lot of positive ways with being on your own, like, dude, I enjoy p turning on my lamps, journaling, drawing, like, writing, you're nour nourishing, and, like, yeah, nurturing your, uh, your skills, your talents, and, and your passions, and you make projects, like, do you think if I was in a relationship, perhaps, I don't know, no, I don't, I'm not saying that it, you need to sacrifice all your food. I'm just saying that sometimes, sometimes you excel at the stuff that you do when you don't have much distractions. Like for example, I'm doing YouTube right now. Back then, I was like all day long stuck in my phone, just spamming my boyfriend, and talking with him and stuff like all day and Discord and whatnot. And right now, <laughs> like I'm just fully dedicated to this. And uh, it could, it could, like you know you just go to your project work on yourself meanwhile like friends will arrive soon like if you know that it's not on you that you want to make friends that you want to be loved that you want to love that you know that you deserve love i think we're all good we're all righty we're all um <laughs> we're just fine and dandy the way we are and people don't need to assume that we're not because <laughs> like um, if you met me like honestly i'm just doing my thing i'm just doing my thing and it, it doesn't i don't it doesn't it isn't the serving of self-deprecation it isn't the serving of you to roast me. None of that. If I'm content with it, you're content. If you're not content with it, I hope that after this video you are. Because there's literally nothing wrong with that. Uh, if um, if you 
cover all of the requirements that I already said about being a happy loner because <laughs> that exists, okay? Yes, all of us want love, but love comes in many ways, shapes, and forms. So it can come in the shape of a plushie, of taking care of something, like it makes you feel good on the inside. Um, so many things, like it, it's just that you get it fit into this idea. And as I said, like in school, you're basically forced. Like, it's not even that you go to a club or you go to a concert in which everyone is united even though they're strangers. They're united on the same euphoria, you know what I'm saying? For the same person that has helped them, their music has helped them go through so many moments. Like, it's not like you have something in common even. Like, <laughs> put me on the test. Put me somewhere in which people and I, you know, we are compatible. Sometimes you're just, you're not. I mean, my school was super tiny. It was a 50 people per promotion. Do you think that... Do you think it was the end of the world if I didn't get along with the 50 people? Like, even, heck, if it was, like, uh, I mean, 100 people, because it was 100 people, and what if none of them cl clicked or matched? Like, that's totally okay. Even if your parents get worried about you, that's okay. Um, Because you did your effort, you tried your best, and it didn't work out. So you keep trying in whatever field, in whatever environment that you're put in. Uh, but for, uh, in the meantime, just enjoy yourself. <laughs> You will always have yourself. People will come and go. You know, they will move. They will change friendships, partners, etc., etc. Like so many things. That's nothing to be ashamed of, okay? Not at all. Trust me. Trust. Excusez moi. Uh, actually, that doesn't mean. Moi doesn't mean me, does it? Excuse it. I should go back to my French lessons. <laughs> alone doesn't suck okay you you suck <laughs> no but like seriously being alone can be the best thing ever like you're just there you're reflecting you have more time to think you have more time to focus on yourself uh it's like the reasons why you're alone is what i'm trying to say that's what determines whether oh yeah your your life is quite crappy or not if you're alone because you want to or you're alone because you tried your best and still you don't get anything and because you th that's okay that's okay because that's that's like you know um you tried and you couldn't and uh if you want to then <laughs> you want to do it you're not getting harmed by it your loneliness like there's a difference between being alone and feeling lonely if you don't feel lonely and you're alone good if you are alone and you feel lonely that's sad but that also shouldn't be roasted or mocked on or teased about like what why? What is wrong with you? This kid wants love, and you're just... <laughs> Why everybody wants love? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Like, give him your friendship! No, you can't, because you're a shitty person. And uh, sometimes, shitty people are magnets, and they attract so many people. I don't know how they do it, but we are the opposite. Uh, we are the opposite, and that's okay. It's not that we <laughs> make people feel intimidated or afraid, okay? It's just that... We automatically, effortlessly, just with our presence, just with us breathing, just with us is existing, we already keep the bad stuff uh, like away. So if you see it that way, it's amazing to be like this. <laughs> um, you don't know all the trouble that you save yourself, okay? Um, having different social circles, not just staying on one place, not just staying on one thing. It's like a trap. Oh my god, I say that so much! But yeah, it's like a trap, okay? So, the fact that you're alone, it just gives you more freedom to do so many things. Like, yeah, don't just close up to just one friend or, or you know, I mean, if you have one friend and it's been with you all day, like, yeah, keep it. But like, you see, there's just so many outcomes for people that are alone most of the time. That people who are already, you know, in their thing in their thing that they're gonna probably change in like some years, some months, maybe next week. <laughs> um, and they have. So, uh, it's just, yeah, just look at the why. Don't look at the what. Don't look at what's going on. Yeah, yeah. She's alone and he's alone. What's the difference between the two? Well, why? Why are they like that? And that's, that's when you know if it's bad or good or... And <laughs> neither of those situations should be used for mockery, okay? <laughs> like, if... If you wanted, you know, if, if, like, you can change that status quo, go freaking offer him your friendship. But no, you want him to stay alone. So, why do you call him, why do you call him a freak? Why do you call him weird? Why do you call, it? he's, he's the one that's uh, is isolated from society. No, you're the one alienating him. So, yeah.
thing that's gonna be left is you to yourself all to yourself okay <laughs> when you have mental breakdowns and you have so many struggles you you're gonna be here okay for everything <laughs> so like we are ahead in a way and, like we are ahead of them because right now they're depending on these little groups they're unstable i mean we are unstable in our own ways is what i said but the fact that like like sometimes you could be winning at life and people just look down at you because you're not doing the same thing that they're doing which is um i don't know perhaps having already um your friends for a lifetime but will they be friends for a lifetime maybe they're just childhood friends i mean maybe they're just school friends as i said like once that <laughs> that is over the friendship expires it fades it gets cold like soup like <laughs> it, it isn't it isn't edible anymore you just don't enjoy it anymore you grow you change you develop um and there was this movie in which like uh they said that girls that waited until college they suffered less for boys because they were more mature when they were adults i mean if that wasn't such a generalization but it sort of makes sense so it's what i'm telling you like your time will come and maybe right now it's not the best time and it's okay because like you can still make memories everything you do every day you romanticize your life freaking take pictures of that teacup even if every day you have tea like your routines whatever thing like you can hold on to like just freaking <laughs> make it be amazing why do you have to yearn for something that someone else has when you don't even know if they're having fun you have no idea how many friends i have that i would die to like have their lives like they have home they're home alone or they they go they live in a very uh in a in, a, in the city so they can go walking everywhere with their friends and so many things like i've talked about it yes sometimes it is sad but it doesn't mean you know it doesn't mean that we didn't try or or that we we don't want that no 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 we do want that and even if we didn't yeah sometimes we don't sometimes i'm more comfortable with myself sometimes i want to do me things you know like reading a book and just you know tone down sometimes i don't want to go to a party sometimes I'm a, and that you know i hate parties but if you invite me to one i'll be the life of the party <laughs> isn't that ironic no one would expect that from me but that's how it is you tell me a joke we start laughing i'll have a laughter attack <laughs> with no shame no embarrassment i've peed myself i've farted i've fallen off my desk okay and people have watched and they have been like what the hell is wrong with her i don't care because i was having the time of my life and you can have the time of your life on your own or with one person the same person that's always been there for your whole life because all of these other people are having a bunch of people that are like a train like <laughs> passengers they're all they're they're gonna be gone like an airport <laughs> like like um like a like a brand of bread that everyone oh they're checking the prize they're checking the the thing and, and they just put it back on the shelf and they go for the other bread and, and sure they've been looked at and, and and but no one has bought it no one has truly bought it and maybe you've been already bought that's a that's a that's a metaphor if you didn't get it um but yeah that's the thing you shouldn't feel bad for uh, being alone especially when you actually do enjoy it and when you enjoy people's company when you enjoy both things <sighs> there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you if, if anything you know someone who complains about you it's because they just don't understand and that's the thing they're, they're, that's what's wrong with them that's their issue because you shouldn't have any issues with how you manage your life um if you're content with it which i hope you are so yeah like heck we're all social animals and people who hate who say they hate people it's because they haven't met the right people so even they are gonna find love someday even they are craving it and even they truly mean it when they say i want to be alone and that is fine so bye <laughs>